knee space. I'm no tall dude. I'm 5'11". And then we'll get into some things that I don't like. Again, the center of gravity is not on one spot. It's Evolution not. obviously saw that coming. The springs down the back, which I never go to fast food ever, I swear. So if you want an honest review about the all new Evolution D5 golf cart from a dealer like myself, then you are watching the right video because I dive super deep into the pros and cons of this vehicle from the frame all the way up to the roof. I cover it all. And if you're watching this video because you're shopping for a golf cart or interested in the D5, then I would stick around to the end of the video because I give you my honest review and tell you whether or not I think it's worth your hard earned money. So this is the four passenger Evolution D5 Ranger and Evolution makes this in four passenger and they also make it in a six passenger. Then they also make the Maverick, which is the lifted version and they make that in four and six passenger as well. So let's quickly go over what I love about the D5 and then we'll get into some things that I don't love. The rims are great looking. I love the radial 23 inch tires. That actually helps the ride a lot too. And a steel belted radial will not only ride better on the road because it's perfectly round, but it will take wear and tear better on the road. It'll last longer. I love the design of the D5. The front end is amazing looking. The head Headlights are amazing. The daytime running lights are awesome. So they also designed the headlights to have switchback lighting, meaning when you or have your daytime running lights on, they actually turn off and turn into the turn signal, which looks awesome as well. The front cowl and the design of the lights, I'm a very big fan. It looks very aggressive. It doesn't look too aggressive. It still has like a luxurious look to it. And while we're still here, another thing I love about it too is they did front disc brakes as well. Another thing that I love that they improved on compared to their other models is they did turn signals in the mirrors as well. This is becoming a really big thing because a lot of golf carts are on the road nowadays and people are wanting to be seen. So one thing that's like this is really nice because now people are gonna see you a lot better in coming traffic. Side mirrors are higher off the ground. Sometimes people just, you know, people are driving, they don't notice lights low to the ground that are have the flashing turn signals on, but the higher it is, the more likely people are to notice you. And then the newly designed windshield, I am a very big fan of this as well. It is a super thick, well-made dot windshield. It's like a dot windshield kind of designed like a, the club car onward where you don't have that laminated hinge anymore. You've actually got a plastic hinge. They also did the vents. So this is pretty cool as well. So if you, let's say you're driving and it's super hot outside, it's raining. That's why you throw your windshield up so you're not getting plastered by rain. Well, it's super hot outside. You can open these vents up and yeah, you're going to get some water in here but it just helps air the cart out more. This chassis was designed specifically for this cart to have four forward facing seats and the wheelbase is about seven feet. So that is a big deal because the longer the wheelbase of the vehicle, the more smooth it's gonna feel when you're driving. You're not going to feel every little bump in the road, every pothole in the road. Then secondly, and this kind of piggybacks off of that, is the four passengers weight. They are dispersed throughout the axles. This is probably the biggest difference in the overall riding experience and the softness of the suspension because of this weight distribution throughout the axles. And now let me explain. I got this four passenger cl classic four plus here. I'm gonna show you why it matters so much. All of everybody's weight, your weight and everybody else's is on this axle. There's very little weight in that front axle when you're sitting on this cart. Most of the weight is on this rear axle. When you're driving and you hit a pothole, you hit a bump, whatever, you're driving in the grass, it's just bushes bumpy, you're really feeling it because you're on top of the axle. Some traditional four passenger golf carts ride smoother than others, but at the end of the day, they all somewhat ride similarly because you're all on top of the rear axle. Spectacular! We go back to here. Now as the driver, you're literally in the middle of two axles. So as a driver, this is the best seat in the freaking golf cart. Now, is it gonna be maybe a little more bumpy back here? You might feel the, the terrain underneath you a little more in the back seat, but we don't care about the people in the back seat because you're the driver. You bought the golf cart, it's your money. You want, you want to have the nice ride. Tilting steering wheel. We do get some people every once in a while saying, hey, I don't want the steering wheel so close to my body. And well, they designed a steering wheel that you can actually tilt. So you can go up, you can go down with it. And I mean, I'm not sure why you'd ever want down here necessarily. Um, I heard if you have it down here, it really drives people nuts. <laughs> yes, that's one thing I love because people like the ability to change, uh, move the steering wheel up and down. One of my favorite things about it is it has self-canceling turn signals. And that is um, just so amazing for the golf cart community and industry. Because how many people do you see driving down the road with their turn signal still on because they forgot to turn it off because they were turning? Everybody. I do it all the time. So self-canceling turn signals is a really big deal. I love, they've they got the typical Reliance forward and reverse switch that they've always had in the Evolution. I love that. I love the carbon fiber glove box. You have the touchscreen. You know, this is what you've seen on the Plus and Forester models and Carrier models. 
but they did a new software and it looks a lot better. It's a lot cleaner looking. The functionality of it's a little better than the other models. So I love what they did with this. Yes, at the end of the day, it's the same screen and same enclosure and all that, but how it works in the software is a, is a lot better. So I'm a big fan of that. So another reason why it's such a big deal that everybody's facing forwards is because you have a lower center of gravity. On a traditional four passenger golf cart, you're pretty high compared to like the lowest center of gravity on the cart. Well, that makes the like the turning of a cart a little more harder to do. Your cart's really starting to lean one way or the other. Everybody sitting up here high in the cart. Your bodies are all in a five foot radius. So the center of gravity with that too, tough, the roll in the cart. Another reason why not having as much body roll is important is because of safety. I drive golf carts all day long, every day for a living, test driving them and all that. And I have taken turns at 25, 30 mile an hour that I could never dream of doing in a traditional four passenger golf cart. It doesn't, it doesn't have nearly as much body roll when you're turning, that makes it a heck of a lot more safe because a lot of people roll their golf carts on a daily basis. I know, because we get calls every week. But not only do you have a better turning capability at higher speeds, it's also more safe. One thing Evolution did phenomenal on is the storage options for this cart. You know, it's not the biggest storage in the world, but sunglasses, phone, wallet, whatever, you know, you're gonna be able to put that in there and keep it stored. It's not gonna fall out of the golf cart. But then another thing that I love is they did the same pedal setup that they did in the D3. So it's not in the floor like a traditional golf cart. It's recessed up in the dash and like, you know, like a car would be. And that just looks I bet, amazing, it looks really good. This really helps leg room for drivers because now it doesn't have to be sucked up towards the driver, which has been a complaint of a lot of people that have longer legs that are, that are taller because the traditional pedal set up in a golf cart is it's in the floor and you don't have much room for your feet. This is a totally different ball game because it's recessed in the dash. So I love that. I love the three-point harness. It's not only more safe than having just your lap harness that, like you do in traditional golf cart. I think eventually people are gonna start cracking down. States are gonna start cracking down more on laws and requirements for golf carts to be on the road. And I think it was a lot of foresight, forethought or foresight, seeing that they should be. A lot of forethought, says my sister who went to college for writing. Next, let's talk about the cushions. Evolution knocked it out of the park on the D5. These cushions are a totally different ball game compared to other models. They are very well made. The vinyl super high end, the stitching looks phenomenal and they're very strong. I like how well and strong they built the support brackets for the front and the rear. You know, these, I mean, it's, it is solid. And I also like that they did how well they did the armrest. You know, doing something like an armrest can be a little risky if it's not built well, because you're gonna have people lean on this really hard and, and pulling themselves up on it and all that. So. They did a phenomenal job because they actually built these really well. And not to mention, yes, they are actually super comfortable as well. Next, we got the rear row. I think they did a great job with the backrest system here. So not only do you have your cup holders here, you got grab handle here to grab up your dad, your brother, whoever the heck's driving the golf cart and drives like crap or drives like a maniac, or they're just hammered drunk and they're driving around at the campground or something like that. These would be kind of nice to have to hold on to. So I think they were very smart for putting those on. I love how they put the cup holders high because now we're not getting in the knee space. And I love how they did the storage. That is, that's very smart. Again, I keep praising their storage in this cart because there's a lot in it. Heck, you might even have a D5 and not even know this, but there's also a USB charger underneath here for the rear passengers, which is really freaking cool. It's actually a lightning charger with a USB charger as well. So that was very well thought out by Evolution 2. And last point I'd like to make, the control of the cart. In a traditional four passenger golf cart like this, the back seat is literally behind the rear axle. And that's pretty normal, pretty standard on most golf carts of the back seat. But if you got two people back here, you are literally creating a teeter-totter. You are starting to pull the front tires off the ground if you got people sitting back there. This can cause a real issue. It's literally why Evolution puts weights in the front of their carts like this one. You're literally driving a teeter-totter on wheels. The D5 doesn't care about that because guess what? Everybody's sitting with inside the axles. Now I'm not saying it's a freaking Formula One car. You're gonna be able to take 90 degree turns at 30 mile an hour. When you got people sitting here, most of their weight's gonna be in that rear axle. It's still somewhat adding some weight to that front end, and it's definitely not gonna hurt the overall riding capability. Now, with all this being said, you might say, well, yes, yeah, Sloan, but I don't want a golf cart like that because it's longer. And you could say that, but you would be wrong because this golf cart is literally the same length as that golf cart. Because of how they designed it, with everybody, the rear passengers being on top of this axle, and just, it might look like it's longer, but it's actually not. And the wise words of my boy Ricky from Trailer Park Boys, it's an optical delusion. I actually went around and measured carts. This is the Yamaha Quiet Tech here. Club car onward, Evolution D3. They are all the same length, if 
if not a little longer. Now, if you want a six forward facing, that's a whole different story. Another thing that I love, which I got a lot more, knee space. I'm no tall dude. This is very comfortable. I'm not hitting my knee against it. They made this roof system very strong. And most golf carts, the roof struts and roof system are not that strong. So you've got like one and a half inch by two inch tubing back here that's bolted to the frame down there. So it is very stout. And then this bolts down, it's kind of like a Yamaha or club car, where it bolts down to the frame with two bolts. They also went with thicker one and a quarter tubing up here as well. I'm very impressed with how strong they made this. And because they did it like that, they can hold a heavy sound bar like this. I'll get into this, I love it and I don't like it. So we'll get into it, because we're not big sound bar people. The D5 comes standard with the sound bar. It's got RGB LED lights in it. They are programmable and controlled by the touchscreen. So as I'm touching the sound bar on the screen, you can tell that I'm changing the lights. And, and I'll get into it, one of the things I don't love too, but I do think it's just a cool feature. The one reason I actually do really like it is because how I was talking about before, being seen on the road while you're driving, the light bed in the back. So not only is this six foot off the ground, uh, it's, you know, it is essentially a tail light. And I think that's very smart. They really made this cart able to be seen at night. Yeah, I'm a big fan of that as well. There's one of the things I don't love about it too. Last but not least, things I love. Tail lights are amazing looking very uh, automotive inspired looking. And then the trunk, again, storage, storage, storage all over this golf cart. I love how they did the trunk. It's very smart that they did that, how they designed it. So a lot of people are starting to buy these for the golf course. I love how simple they made it to just remove the trunk real fast. And there's a bracket you can buy that you put in these two threads right here. And it, it's a golf bag attachment and it just, sits right on here, strap them in. That's very simple. And some people have a love-hate relationship with the kind of the angle there would be, because technically your clubs will sit at an angle, like leaning backwards. But honestly, in my opinion, that's better because you don't want this club sitting straight up and you're smoking your sound bar lights and your roof with your clubs. Now the ink bag's gonna be angled when it's back here and you're not having to put it up here, your clubs up here, you're throwing them in at an angle like this. So the first thing that I don't love about the D5 is that they designed this amazing golf cart. They did everything so good, except I don't know why they did this and I'd love to hear from Evolution. But for some reason, they put the hydraulic brake reservoir right here, of all places. So if you're low on brake fluid, which you probably won't even have to change a brake fluid for 20 years. But if you do, with all this electronics sitting right here and you got your storage stuff in here and all that, now you are taking this apart and carefully trying to put brake fluid right there. This looks good. When everybody sees it in the showroom and at the shop, they think it's like a phone charger or something like that. So they concealed it well, but yeah, I don't love that. Another thing I don't love is these cup holders. So the cup holders are not solid, meaning if you have stuff in there, you can actually leak through that and now it's gonna get down into the dash. Obviously there's a lot of wires and electronics and stuff like that inside the dash. I mean, right here, you know, I just pulled it out. And as you can see, now I pulled it out, you know, it's, you can get through that. So I don't love that. You know, you know how it is if you got, you know, a fast food cup, which I never go to fast food ever, I swear. You let it sit there for overnight. A Casey's cup. This video is sponsored by Casey's. Casey's gas station. If you haven't had it, best pizza in the world. I spend $20 there a day. Casey's, if you're watching this, please endorse us. I'd really appreciate it. Nothing would make me more honored saying Casey's gas stations support my videos. And I know that's a super nitty gritty detail that I don't like, but again, cup spill, cup sweat, condensation can get down in there and I just, I don't love that. Another thing that I don't love is the push to start button. Yes, it looks cool. Yes, it's like one of those fancy things. Like, oh my gosh, a golf cart has a push to start button. That's so cool. But to me, I don't like relying on technology for everything. Cause now this has to read your wireless keychain that has an RFID reader in it, you know? So it has to be able to notice that key. And there's just a lot of little things that can go wrong with it. And it's cool, don't get me wrong, but I don't love it. Cause I just like the simplicity and the functionality of a, a real key putting in the ignition and going. You got two speaker holes, driver, passenger side here, two back here as well. There's just speaker holes. There's our actual speakers in there. Them not putting speakers in here was our gain because now we're gonna make a plug and play sound system for these like we do for the other Evolution golf carts. I'm not quite sure why they did that. I th a lot of people, I'm in all the Facebook forums and other forums on Evolutions on the internet. And a lot of people are a little upset about that is that they don't have speakers in there. It'll really add to the overall audio experience in the golf cart, having speakers firing at you from the driver's side under here. Yeah, I don't love that. That wasn't, I'm not sure why they didn't do that. Maybe they knew BA Carts was gonna make a plug and play sound system that was gonna sound really good for the golf cart. So they just said, ah, screw it. We'll let Sloan and the BA Carts guys design it. So next thing that I don't love, how they design the seat set up with the hooks. These are very prone to scratch. You got your metal hooks right here. 
and you gotta be very careful removing it. Now, should you technically need to get under your seats a, hook a lot? No, you might do that in the front here because you're putting stuff for storage here. I wish they would have maybe put just a fixed hinge system like a normal golf cart has. And instead of it kind of being like that and popping up. One, I wouldn't trust these at all if you're trailering this on an open trailer. And two, it's very easy to scratch the cart. That's one thing I don't love. Next thing I don't love. If they actually put speakers in the cart, there's not anything I really wouldn't love about the sound bar. But the fact that they didn't put speakers up front, if you're driving down the road at 25 mile an hour, wind can be pretty dang loud. And you need your assist sound system to play actually pretty loud to hear it. Well, if you're driving 25 mile an hour on the road and you wanna hear your music and you wanna be jamming to it, the people back here are gonna be having their ears blown off because they're gonna hear a heck of a lot easier than you are being the driver up here. Because you're now you're going from a foot to three or four feet. And it's a big difference. I got a love-hate relationship with the soundbar because it's a cool feature. They don't know that many other OEM manufacturers that are putting soundbars with LED lights in them as a standard option because they all come with this. So I think that's very cool, but I just don't love that they, it's not that I don't love the soundbar, it's that I don't love that they didn't put more audio in it because obviously they, they intended on it. But once again, we're gonna make our own plug and play sound system for it. So we'll fix that issue. So there's only two more things that I don't love about it. With that being said, there's a heck of a lot less things I don't love about it than I love about it. So that's a good thing. And the next thing I don't love about it is they only put a 110 amp hour battery in this cart. And with this being a pretty heavy golf cart, heavy frame, being able to hold four passengers, you know, close to a thousand pounds, technically, 110 amp hours is not very much. If you're gonna drive this 25, 30 mile an hour, you're all throttle, you're all brake, and you're driving like a sports car, and you got four passengers on it, this car's only gonna go 15 miles. Now, if you drive a little more conservatively, taking off a little slower, you're gonna be closer to that 25 mile range. But, you know, that could be just a temporary thing that I don't love, because I'm sure they'll design a bigger battery for it. But for now, with it being brand new, and this is the only battery you can even get in the cart, but people like this golf cart setting much that they don't care. They don't care about the range. They just want the golf cart, so. And then the last thing I don't love. Again, this is like the sound bar. It's like a love-hate relationship. Is the vents and the windshield. Yes, it's cool. And yes, these provide you with some great airflow. But one thing they do, even if they're tight, they rattle. Now, I don't know if there's something, you know, that can be done. Putting some weather stripping inside of here to keep that from doing that. Still hear that what you're driving. So again, nitty gritty details. I'm making a review video, so I'm making a review video and I'm not messing around and I'm telling you everything I think about the golf cart. With that being said, that's the last thing I don't love about this golf cart. What are my overall thoughts about the Evolution D5? So I really do think that four forward facing golf carts are gonna be the new trend in the golf cart industry. And Evolution obviously saw that coming. And they could have just, you know, made a simple four passenger forward facing golf cart, but they didn't. They, in my opinion, they freaking knocked it out of the park. They fixed so many little tweaks and so many complaints about other models. And they kept the good things about those other models, like the touch screen and all that. And yeah, I think they did a phenomenal job. Yes, they could have done a couple things better. And some of it is obviously just my opinion. I've been doing this for a while and there's just certain things I know that are good and bad and I'm telling you what I think. So overall, those little things that I don't personally like about the cart are very minuscule when you look at the good things about the D5. It is not even, it's, I, I definitely don't think the things I don't love about it are so big that it's, I wouldn't buy this golf cart. That's, cause that's definitely not the case. I would, you know, if I was, Technically I own hundreds of golf carts, but if I was shopping for my own golf cart for personal use or for whatever, the little you know push the start button and the brake reservoir thing wouldn't bother me at all, considering how good of a golf cart this is. I'm a huge fan of it. The overall driving experience, how smooth it is, the weight distribution, how well it rides with everybody on here, the sound bar, the everything about it, the touch screen, the self-canceling turn signals. There's a lot to this golf cart that I love. And I think it's a phenomenal golf cart. But yeah, if you're still watching, thank you for still watching. If you have questions about this golf cart, please let us know in the comments below. I'll put our contact information in below as well. And if you wanna see more review videos about golf carts, because you're shopping for one or you're shopping for another, a new golf cart, hit that subscribe button because we're planning on doing a bunch more review videos and other models of golf carts. But with that, thanks for watching and I'll see you next video.